Hello, and welcome to video 5 in the Connecting Rod Assembly Series presented by ESA Core and brought to you by MSE Software. In this video, I will be showing you how to shell a part using mid-surfacing tool, uh, connecting the surfaces to form a general body, and then assigning thicknesses to the meshed part. First, I'm going to go to Geometry Edit Tools. I'm going to go to Mid-Surface, and then Fixed Distance Offset. I'm going to set my offset distance to zero and I'm also going to uncheck the half offset uh, mark. Next I'm going to select the outer surfaces of the connecting rod hole portions, click my middle mouse button, and then next go to the auto select surfaces, select the upper connecting rod middle portion, click my middle mouse button so it'll select halfway between it. Do the same for the inner portion. And there we go. I will now hide the body and I have my surfaces for the connecting rod. Now all that's left is to clean this up and connect them and then mesh and assign thicknesses. So first I need to get rid of these holes that are in these cylindrical surfaces. So I have a couple ways of doing that. First way is the vertex edge drag tool. I can grab these points and drag them to the other point and get rid of the hole that way. Or I have the filler tool in which I can just select one side of it, hit my middle mouse button, and it will fill the hole. As you can see, it left an imprint still of where the hole was. Now, depending on your design, you can either keep that there or you can uh, erase it. Now, you can erase it by simply doing the geometry cleanup, selecting the surface, and then hitting the middle mouse button. Or you could stay in the filler tool, uh, unclick the lightning bolt so that way it's not automatic, uh, select your curves. and then hit delete. Select curve, hit delete, select curve, hit delete. And there you go. Now you have your surfaces nice clean. Now all that's left is to connect them and there's also a few methods to do that. You can again use the surface edge drag tool and simply drag the edge to the surface and it will automatically stitch them together. Or you can use the stitch surfaces tool and select the two surfaces you wish to stitch. And I'm going to do the same for the inner surface as well. Hit the middle mouse button and everything is stitched together. Now you have one general body that is ready to be uh, meshed. So we will go to the meshing tab surface mesh. I'll change my mesh size to 0.1. I will select quadrilateral elements and I'll keep it linear. I'll go ahead and select my surface. Hit my middle mouse button. And there we have. I have my mesh. Now to assign thicknesses I, can, I have two options to do this. I can either go to the, the attribution tools tab select auto thickness, select my surface, click my middle mouse button, and then select my geometry that it's going to uh, take the thicknesses from, and then middle mouse button again, and it will auto assign the thickness, and to view this in 3D, I go up here to the, uh, uh, the thickness and offset uh, visualization tool. Uh, click the 3D thickness offset so it'll show a 3D version of it. And as I could see that looks pretty good. And also to verify that it's uh, set up correctly, I can turn on my geometry and you could see I got an, an outline now of my geometry. So now I could see for sure that it's mashing up very well with my geometry. Now another way I can do this is after I undo the auto thicknessing. Another way I could do this 
is to go to the sections tool uh, tab and I can apply the sections individually so I'll name this inner rod section I'll assign a thickness of, a thickness of 0.2 inches and then I will create no offset since it's already right in the center go to assign section uh, select the face and then select the face of the intersection and I can do that with each individual piece so that way I can control each individual thickness and that concludes this video